Hey guys, before we start the regular video, I thought I'd jump on and tell you guys some so exciting news. So on Saturday at 5.42 a.m., we officially hit our 500,000th subscriber, and we are so tickled pink about it. So as a thank you to all of you guys, our loyal fans and followers, we will be putting up an extra special video on Wednesday, so make sure and watch for it Wednesday night, and you are going to love it. We'll see you guys then. Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles. Today I'm here with Special K, and we're gonna do a no heat curl tutorial using Bantu knots. I think the most important thing when doing no heat curls is the wetness of the hair. So her hair is obviously dry, because we just let it air dry after her shower. Um, but we're gonna have to add a little moisture. You do not want to start with sopping wet hair. That will always, your hair just won't dry completely, and then it's just gonna be like a limp noodle when you're done. The next morning so we're going to start by I'm gonna do just kind of a section right here on top so I don't like to see part lines when I'm done in the, like the next morning when the curls come out so I'm gonna take this whole front section and it really doesn't have to be pretty that's the beauty of these no heat curls um, and then I'm just gonna take my spray bottle it's just water and just lightly spritz her hair now if your hair is starting from sopping wet then just kind of like let it air dry till it's about half dry um, or if you want to use a blow dryer you can but entirely up to you at this point you can choose whether or not to add an elastic I like to add an elastic just because my kids are younger and they roll around at night and this just kind of helps secure it but you don't want it to be so tight that it creates this crease line in the hair so I'm just gonna leave that elastic loose and nice you can see that it's like loose on her head so it's not going to hurt her to sleep on it. So I'm going to again just add a little spritz and then I'm going to twist the hair. And then you're just going to take the hair strand that's all twisted and just twist it until it makes a little knot on the top of their head. This is called a Bantu knot and you can leave some ends hanging out. Don't stress out over that either because I actually think a little bit of straight on the end makes the curl seem really natural and nice. Okay, I gotta slow down, I'm moving so fast, I can't think. When you get done with your Bantu knot, I used another elastic over the top of it, again loosely, to hold it in place. Another option would be to secure with bobby pins. If you're worried about this creating a crease line on the hair, you can just take a bobby pin, or two would be better crossed, and slide them over the hair, and that will also hold it into place. But that's, you know, whether or not you think you can sleep on it and not have it fall out is up to you. Okay. Now, depending on your hair um, thickness, you're going to decide how many you want. And on her hair, I find that five works really well because, of course, the smaller section that you take is going to create tighter curls. And I don't want mine super tight. I want them kind of loose and soft looking. Last one. The whole thing is really fast and easy. Just a little bit on that end. So I think the biggest trick, again, just to reiterate, is not to over wet your hair. Over wet's never gonna curl. It'll just be limp when you take it out. Okay, we're done. So we've got our little Bantu knots in and ready, and we'll see you guys in the morning when we take them out for the beautiful reveal. Good morning, guys. So we're back. She slept on the Bantu knots, and we're ready to take them out. So we're just gonna reverse the process. We're gonna just pull those elastics out gently and untwist our curls. And then the next elastic. There we go. And you can see we're gonna have a lovely curl. 
I'm going to have her, you can start separating that one if you want in a little bit. And last but not least, put that in. And okay, I'm going to have you flip your head upside down. And I'm just going to kind of run my fingers through it to just try to separate out the curl. If I can see that some aren't separating, I can just use my fingers. Shake it. But you can see that lovely curl we're already getting. Okay, flip it back up. Voila! Let's give you a little part. You can see I'm just doing it all with my fingers. You can use a brush or a comb, but it's just going to pull the curl out more, and I want the curl to be pretty soft still. Um, that way, as it loosens throughout the day, it still leaves us with a nice looking curl. I don't know where we had... I think we had that one laying this way. Yeah, that looks better to me. Okay, and then once you get to this point, you can decide if you want to just leave them down, or... Let me look at you for now if you want to um, put a headband in. So I think a cute feather headband on her would look really cute. We have a tutorial on how to make these. If you don't already have some, you can check it out. I think it's called feather headband. It's very cute and very easy. Add a little hairspray where you need to. There you go. And you have these soft, soft, really pretty beachy waves out of Bantu knots, which like I said, perfect for day two, where the fun bun hawk or something day one, huh? And then second day curls. Finished product. And there you go. Hope you guys enjoy. We'll see you later. Bye. Softer and looser like that. Take that piece, wrap it over the top, wrap it underneath.